Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm talking about Hytale again. And this is another one of those videos where I didn't think I was going to need to make it at first, but a ton of people are asking the question, so here we go. Well, <laughs> the first time I did a video like this was talking about the PvP. As we know, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers left Minecraft for Fortnite. Some good examples, Shotgun Raids, The Camping Rusher, I, I just don't freaking follow that many YouTubers, but there's literally countless of them. And a lot of Minecraft YouTubers straight up just quit in general, and there's just the momentum online is starting to die off. There's still plenty of Minecraft YouTubers that are still successful, for example, Captain Sparkles, Preston Plays, but you have a lot of channels that are just basically giving up on Minecraft. And now, the meme is, right, those of us in the Minecraft community that didn't leave for Fortnite are gonna leave for Hytale. And <laughs> Minecraft ain't feeling so good. Even now, it's already starting to feel the effects of this. Tons of people are very concerned about the Minecraft community as a whole. And even though there is a resurgence right now, Minecraft is kind of coming back a little bit. I think that's only because of the hype that is going to be generated by Hytale. They're getting a reminder of what they had before they move on to something new. And it's going to be tough. And there's Minecraft YouTubers that are just straight up quitting, like Lawless Alex recently quit. But again, people coming back, acidic blitz, stuff like that. So who knows, right? Anyway, the situation on YouTube for Minecraft is not doing so good. I'm already starting to see the results on my channel itself of course if you are subscribed you should watch every video on my channel that's you know a similar theme because i do this sort of thing all the time the bed wars commentaries sometimes they're not about hightail but it's the same stuff it's just talking about something that's not hightail i don't know for those of you that are you know just sub for the hightail stuff i would say you should just give it a shot you know recently i talked about a funny story in one of my upcoming videos i'm going to talk about a funny story about like getting my driver's license and failing several times and almost hitting a monument. I'm already starting to see that if a video is Minecraft centric, for example, Survival Island, it doesn't even break 500 views sometimes. And then I post something about Hytale and it gets 10,000 views. Even though if you play the two videos with like no audio, they're almost the same thing. There's one playing Bed Wars, one playing Survival Minecraft, but it's still Minecraft, but the fact that I'm talking about Hytale is what makes it go freaking viral on my channel. So all of that being said, will Mojang sue Hytale and Hypixel Studios? For one thing, I don't think this is what Hypixel intended. They don't want Minecraft to die. They've stated officially multiple times that they appreciate Minecraft it's the reason why they got where they were. They love the game. They have close ties with the developers of Minecraft. And they're chill, supposedly. That being said, I do think that Mojang is scared right now. I do think that Hytale means the best in Hypixel Studios. They do not want to kill Minecraft. They want to produce something that better fits them as the server owners that they were slash still are. They want something that would fit for their style of creating content. So they made their own game. I guess... Getting out of the way, whether they will, I don't think that Mojang would because that would be some really bad publicity. The games are similar, but not similar enough to warrant a takedown. Let's think about, right, Fortnite and PUBG. I hate talking about Fortnite. I absolutely hate it, but it's a great example. PUBG sued Fortnite because, supposedly, a lot of the elements of Fortnite were taken from PUBG. Whether or not that's true isn't the problem. It's how similar they are in the game itself. So maybe an idea could have been taken, but if it was executed in a different way with a different spin on it, then that's completely fine. Eventually, PUBG dropped the case and they got a lot of bad press for it. You know, I was personally cheering them on just because I kind of hated Fortnite and I still do. But um, it makes sense that things went the way they did because it was just too it was too different. It was the same idea, but it was executed in a completely different way. Uh, I think it had something to do with melee weapons or something like that. I don't freaking know. But <laughs> anyway, another example that went the opposite way. The developers of Fallout Shelter, the mobile app, also made a game for Westworld. And what makes this interesting is that Westworld, that game, is made in the same engine as Fallout Shelter. So, the people at Bethesda hired these developers to make their mobile game, 
and the developers did a breach of contract and they made a game using the same engine that's supposed to be proprietary and they used it for this Westworld game and then very quickly it got taken down uh, they got sued in court and they got taken down for it so that's an example of something that's just way too similar and people get in trouble for it so with that in mind Hypixel made their own engine for Hytale they, from the ground up sure everything's blocks but none of the textures are copied over everything is squares but there are tons of games that use squares there's Trove, Cube World, Minecraft, Hytale there's Terraria which is 2D but it's still squares and there are countless games that are voxel based and just on that alone you cannot sue a company for copyright infringement it ain't happening the textures aren't even similar so it's well they're similar but they're not the same even if like technically a few pixels were off that still would not you would not be able to sue for it because it's a different thing it's fair use as they say and sure there's destructible terrain in Hytale just like from Minecraft but there's other games that do that as well there's sure there's gonna be a sword and there's chests and pickaxes and axes but those are real objects from the real world a game can't copyright a pickaxe that existed in the real world way before it did in Minecraft. So the mechanic of breaking a block and getting ore from it is just taken from real life. Of course, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't break off in a square, but you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, even if the games are similar, they are different. They are different enough that I don't think even if Mojang intended to sue Hytale and Hypixel, they would not be able to have a case. And if, again, if they did, there would be so much bad press that like Mojang would get attacked from like all sides for shutting down a <laughs> similar but different game. Actually, this does bring up a good point though. There is a company that is super duper aggressive with their IP and that's Nintendo. I don't know if anybody's paid attention to this problem. Pokemon games online are getting slaughtered and mario games are getting slaughtered by nintendo and if anyone remembers pokemon uranium it was an awesome fan-made 2d pokemon game that had a new type of pokemon it was the uh radioactive type and it played out just like an original game it had gyms it had you know the six party it had pokemon centers and it was so similar in every way because it used like the same pokemon sure it added its own but it was too similar and then got sued and then got taken off the internet but i still have it down on my computer <laughs> uh but there were other games too there was like a unreal engine remake of mario 64 that got taken down because again it's the same exact game but it's like remastered and it was made by fans but nintendo took it down so they they are aggressive as hell but they have a they have a suitable reason for all of it probably the example that uh rings home with you guys most is pixelmon uh the minecraft mod got taken down because again it uses the same pokemon and pokemon centers and berries and all of that sure it's called pixelmon but it's so similar that it and it's using the same names and the same looks and the same mechanics and everything and it's just it's obviously pokemon in minecraft and that's why it got taken down so something like hytale it is its own thing it is not based on minecraft it, i mean sure it's based on minecraft but it's not a copy of minecraft i don't think there is any reason that people should be afraid of this and i don't think mojang would do that anyway they're just going to have to find a way to gain their audience back legitimately. So that is it for this video, guys. This is a bit shorter than most, but I think it summed things up pretty good. There's probably a lot of people out there that kind of wish that Mojang would sue Hytale because there's a lot of people that are, you know, that they, they love Minecraft and they don't want to see the game die. But there's going to be this is what's going to happen. It's not going to die. But it's definitely going to be taken down a few notches. And, you know, <laughs> a few notches, no pun intended. Minecraft did take its ideas from another game, you know? If you look at the origin of Minecraft, the idea of breaking blocks and placing blocks and, <laughs> you know, being in a building type thing was taken from, like, the space mining game. I don't remember what it's called, but the idea isn't even that original. So, <laughs> it is, yeah, it's not really 
I don't think it's possible or something that they would even try anyway. So if you would want to continue the Hytale discussion, then make sure to join my Discord channel, the 30 Virus Botnet, linked in the description and the pinned comment down below. And if you would like to be notified of my new Hytale uploads, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Well, anyway, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.